and you get into prep in multiplication, let's say you turn that one into five, very doable in a bull cycle, take the initial one out, keep that for their life and their expenses for the next 10 years, not have to worry about budgeting and all that shit, take three, invest it long term, put it away, never see it, let that yield return every single year. So becoming a person that isn't attached to that money because you're making money, that you're able to see those investments go down, you should not be investing your rent money. Like that's not the goal. That's how you get fucked. So it took yeah. the million, make sure I'm good for the next 10 years, reinvest into my business. Like that is the cycle. Companies close and shut down is because people weren't able to manage and budget and maintain their fucking business. That's my mechanism. It's worked in the last bull run and I predict that it's gonna work again. That's pretty much my strategy. You can only focus on multiplying and preserving if you're the fucking boss. That is why you need to be the boss. It's because you need to get to the multiplication and you need to stay in preservation, which is where all these dropship kids, all these e-com kids, all these quick crypto kids got their fucking asses whooped, right? Yeah. By the markets. Oh, oh, you're a millionaire. No longer a millionaire, <laughs> motherfucker. Welcome back to McDonald's because they don't understand preservation. And if you can understand preservation and cycles, then you just play rinse and repeat. And at this point, think about it. Let's say you're sitting on a million dollar bankroll. A lot, I know a lot of cats sitting on a million bucks. So saying you're sitting on a million dollar bankroll. If you go, if, if you go through that process and you get into prep in multiplication, let's say you turn that one into five, right? Very doable in a bull cycle, very doable, mm -hmm. even in the stock market without massive risk, especially if you look at something like, I don't know, PayPal, Shopify, uh, what, what's another really good stock, um, Airbnb. A lot of these are down a fuck ton, right? And these are companies of the future. These are companies that are going to exist. If you, whether you love PayPal, hate PayPal, PayPal is still very much around and it's making a fuck ton of revenue. Profits, I don't know, but they have a, a space in the market and they're claiming it. And it's in these companies that have long-term potential where I want to go into the multiplication. I'm not going to be investing in shit coins. I'm not gambling. I'm investing and in multiplying. I'm not out here for hundred X anymore, right? Cause if you're sitting on one, let's say you turn one to five. Now you have that one, that original one, that is your life expenditure for the next 10 years. You're going to live off mm -hmm. of what? 120 grand a year. Your expenditure is going to be 10 grand, the 4 million, right? You're going to take three of the million. You're going to put them into wealth preservation. So, uh, low risk index funds, you're going to put them into, uh, uh, real estate, uh, investments things of this nature that are low risk, decent return. So now you have three allocated towards there, giving you, let's say 8% of a year, 8% a year. So let's say you're making 8% off of 3 million, so you're making $250,000 a year, passively, right? Passively from that 3 million that was invested. And now you take the initial one that was, or you have one for your life spent for your life. You have three for investment. And then you have the last one that goes back into the initial of the cycle to let you build your uh, creation wealth again. So that's what's going to be used for building companies, connections, travel, your business, right? Yeah. So take one, turn it into five. I know it sounds like crazy. And I know people, oh, it sounds easy. Turn one into five. Blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up, sit down, listen, go read a book. I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm uh, anticipating the comments and, and deciphering them in real time. So I know a lot of cats sitting on, on one, they can turn it to five, take the initial one out, keep that for their life. Uh, in their expenses for the next 10 years, not have to worry about budgeting and all that shit. Take three, invest it long term, put it away, never see it. Let that yield return every single every single year. And then you take one and use that uh, last one of the five to build your next multiplication, excuse me, your next creation uh, wealth mechanism. So yeah, that's my operating system for creating, multiplying and preserving wealth. That's my mindset. Like I told you, it's not it's so much cycle. about tactics. It's about fundamentals, philosophy. If, 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 I don't I, I I think that there's some sort of philosophy attached to the markets. I genuinely believe that your ability to um, be level headed, your ability to not allow emotions to cloud your judgment, uh, greed and uh, all these things, I think they have a philosophical take to it. It's not all just cold numbers and data. There's a lot of psychology attached to this. So becoming a person that isn't attached to that money because you're making money that you're able to see those investments go down, you should not be investing your rent money, right? Like that's not the goal. That's how you get fucked. You have to be investing your extra capital after your life is taken care of. If you, if you can tell by what I mentioned before, I took care of my 
needs first. Then I went into investing. So I took yeah. the million, make sure I'm good for the next 10 years, invest, uh, reinvest into my business. Like that is the cycle. And that allows you to live a life of peace. Why? Because you're not overspending. You're not worth 5 million anymore. You're worth one, right? So you just took off 80% of your net worth, put 60% away, use 20% for your business and 20% belongs to you. You, my friend, you're not worth five, you're worth one. And if you view yourself as one, introduces humility, it allows you to have a longer runway and it doesn't give you the lack of peace of mind that comes with overspending and underperforming in your businesses, which when times like this come around and shit gets hard, layoffs come. And the reason layoffs come and companies uh, close and shut down is because people weren't able to manage and budget and maintain their fucking business. So that's my mechanism. It's worked in the last bull run and I predict that it's gonna work again. That's pretty much my strategy.